Well, welcome back. Here we are again. Uh, we've taken off a few of the uh, covers so we can have a look at, uh, at the uh, Tesla uh, Model Y in a little more detail. Let's step back here and uh, talk a little bit about a couple of the things that we've discovered that um, uh, we really like. Um, let's go uh, number one. Let's uh, swing in here and have a look at the low voltage wires. Now, this might not look like much to the average person, but this is just never done. This is, uh, this is called corrugated wrap. This is uh, put over the top of the low voltage 12 volt wires so that, um, so that uh, it doesn't abraid, uh, doesn't get uh, scratched and short out. Tesla has gone overboard because we've never seen anybody do this ever. We'll see, sometimes we'll see candy striping, which is uh, just basically tape wrapped around it. Sometimes we'll see small sections of tube here and there, but we never see anything that looks quite like this ever. And you can see that, uh, that this wiring is, is uh, it's not just, uh, just a guess. This has really done a fine job. Uh, uh, as far as a quality issue is concerned, this is never gonna see a short. Let's look over here at something else that I like. These are quick connects here. Um, they probably don't mean much to a lot of folks, but to me, uh, this is how, when I was at Ford Motor Company, this is how we got rid of a huge fines on uh, air conditioning and whatnot by going to quick connects. People don't like to use them because they're much more expensive than a swage lock fitting, a, a screw fitting, but they never leak. These are 100% these are, uh, 100% perfect all the time. And you'll see that it's got a little clip here. And when the clip goes in, that means that you've done the job properly. Now, these are two little things, but to me, they're big things. Let's move on to something else that um, some folks might be interested in. This is, um, this is the uh, Model 3 uh, brake uh, caliper. And, um, and uh, we, uh, we know a little bit about this. Um, we know that Tesla basically scrubbed this, and uh, that was the Bembro uh, logo, but, um, but they didn't scrub everything. So here we have Bembro on the, uh, on the side here. So when we look at this, we're looking at the same sort of fixed brake, but not quite the same. Have a look, and you'll see that it's much heavier here, and this is a cast over. So this is making it quite a bit stronger. The, uh, we think that this is also a Bembro brake. We won't know until we take it apart. But uh, we believe that, uh, that Tesla is taking these brakes and modified them to make them look like they're, they're part of the Tesla organization. So let's go back here a bit. And I'm not going to try and walk backwards because I don't want to whack my head on this. And let's look at the rear brakes. So the rear brakes, the rear brakes initially, they looked like they were fixed as well but they're not, they're a faux floating uh, kind of, uh, kind of uh, brake. They, uh, they're not quite the same as what, uh, as what the front is, but there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, this is fine. It's just that uh, they, they kept the style and we kind of like that as well. So as we move back here, you can see again, all of the, uh, all the corrugated, uh, all the corrugated stuff here that's just amazing to me. I'm really happy. Now, let's make me the happiest. When I saw the Tesla 3, I really, really uh, was unhappy with, um, with the way that they did the, um, the, the back end of the car. I saw hundreds of parts that shouldn't have been there. I, uh, I was really unhappy. So what they've done is, I suggested that they get rid of the, uh, I don't know, aluminum, aluminum uh, 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 boot that, uh, that I, couldn't, I couldn't even count the number of parts inside of it right now. But they've taken that and pulled it out and, and we made a suggestion to go to something like this. this we think this is a nylon with glass filled um, boot, one piece, drop it in, all done. And this, this aluminum <coughs> casting, this gigantic aluminum casting that takes up probably a third of the back end of the car, I'm really thrilled with. And if we look down here, you can see uh, that they've also cast in place things that, uh, that cost us time and money. You can see, you can see the, um, uh, the oval slots here. And here we're guessing that there's gonna be a, 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 a final uh, pin, like a, a, an accurate pin on one side, and the other side will have something a little bit oversized. 
That means that I can put the whole pan in and it'll be dead, dead accurate every time. It'll be self-locating. It's going to be wonderfully easy to put that whole section in, that whole rear cradle. It's, almost, it's not a cradle, but I don't even know what to call it, but it's a really good idea. So again, thank you to, uh, to Tesla for uh, showing, us, showing us that when we say things, uh, every once in a while you might, <laughs> might take them. It's, I'm honored that they, uh, that they took our advice on it. Um, one last thing, or two last things. One is um, uh, to make sure, that, uh, uh, make sure that you leave a tip for the, for the cashiers. I mean, uh, you're out there buying a can of soup and some toilet paper. They're risking their lives. This is a, this is a big deal. I, I, uh, I got a lot of good feedback. I think we should try and promote this as much as we possibly can. Let's be responsible. Most everybody that's uh, tuning in is an engineer. We all know that we're cheapskates, but let's try a, a really our best to uh, dig deep and throw something into a tip jar for the, um, for the people that are on the cashiers that are basically helping us out here. Uh, last thing is uh, stay tuned. Um, we'll have lots more. We have a, a tremendous uh, opportunity here to have a look at what I think is turning out to be a really fabulous vehicle. Thanks again for tuning. We'll talk to you shortly.